Well, it's Christmas time again, so I have to come up with some cool gift ideas. For one person, I'm going to be making these little boxes. This is my design, and I wanted to use uh, uh, clips instead of glue. And those tooth-like clips there, <laughs> those are going to be holding everything together. And they're purposely large and kind of obvious just to, you know, to show off a, a unique design. This one's made out of walnut and bloodwood, and this is the same wood, but uh, opposite. I really like those contrasting colors. So I have one more to make, and I'm going to be using yellow heart and purple heart. I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to go with purple heart on the outside with the yellow heart accents or vice versa. I think I'm going to go with the former, so let's go take a look at the blueprints on the computer and then cut out some parts on the laser cutter. This is what everything looks like when it's laid out. I'm not going to be cutting everything in one shot because I only have material that's 4 by 12 inches long and I'm going to be using different materials so I have to kind of line up each individual uh, part on that plank of wood which is kind of a pain. I wouldn't normally do it that way but that's what I have to work with. And of course the clips are going to be made with Baltic birch plywood. I had a lot of questions last time as to what machine I'm using. and It's actually the inexpensive 50 watt eBay laser cutting machine. It was 1500 bucks. I bought it. Uh, this is Nevada, so it was at my house within two days. And I think that's pretty impressive. I haven't had any issues with it at all. It, it just works very well. So you can't cut through really thick material and you can never cut through metal, any metal. So keep that in mind if you're getting into laser cutting. All right, now I'm ready to run my first part. So as you watch this, you may notice that it appears as though the laser isn't cutting all the way through the wood. In fact, what's happening is it is cutting all the way through the wood, but some pieces are more dense than others, and sometimes you get little strands of wood hanging on for dear life, preventing the part from dropping out. It's actually ideal that the part doesn't drop out, so it doesn't come crashing down on the table below and potentially breaking it. This is expensive material, and I don't want to risk that. You can also see here that there are flames that lick up at the bottom of the material and that's also bad so I'm always trying to dial in the settings so that stuff like that does not happen. Here you can see that I kill the power for a second because I accidentally told the machine to cut the outside layer first instead of the inside when I first started running this part. Of course you don't want to cut the outside first because then when it comes time to cut the inside there's no part to cut it drops out and the dark stuff accumulating uh, on top of the wood, that's actually sap that uh, gets kicked up from the heat of the laser and kind of lands and accumulates on top of the material, which is easy to remove with some acetone after. A lot of people will cover their whole material with masking tape, but I found that certain materials, uh, you can just use acetone to wipe that free. Well, now I have all my parts cut out. I still have to cut out the clips, but I can do that later. These are all ready for staining. I'm going to use... I'm not, actually, I'm not going to stain them. I'm going to seal them with tongue oil. But this is how you put it together. Well, I'm finally done. It took a lot longer than I had hoped, but I think they turned out looking really nice. Uh, the last step I took was to coat all the parts with tongue oil and just put them together. And I realize uh, the vast majority of people don't have uh, laser cutters, but I have to imagine if you're watching this, you might. So if you want the plans, I'd be happy to share them with you. This 
lid needs a little bit of fitting. And the, the blueprints account for um, eighth inch material up to about 130 thousandths. So you don't have to use a laser cutter for this. You could use a scroll saw or any number of other machines. You could even make them by hand if you wanted to. But um, yeah, so if you if you want the plans, just let me know and I'll give them to you. I have some other videos on my channel you might be interested in looking at. So uh, thanks for watching.